Welcome to this module on proteins. Proteins are considered the functional units of life as they encode enzymes which are involved in several biochemical functions that are essential for the life process. Proteins are, are comprised of amino acids. The amino acids have different properties. Some of these amino acids are hydrophobic, some are hydrophilic, some are acidic and others are basic. The composition of a protein determines the structure of the protein as well as its net charge, hydrophobicity and hydrophilicity. For instance, if a protein has a majority of hydrophobic amino acids, it will be hydrophobic in nature. If it has an equivalent number of hydrophobic and hydrophilic amino acids in its sequence, the property will be determined by the overall hydrophobicity or hydrophilicity. What we need to reflect upon is how does a combination of 20 amino acids make up every known protein? Proteins can be classified according to their function. Some proteins are involved in biosynthesis and are enzymes which catalyze biochemical reactions. Other classes of proteins are involved in cellular signaling as well as in structural components which comprise the human body as well as cells. Proteins of the interest to the biotechnology industry include enzymes which are produced on an industrial scale antigenic principles, signal peptides, as well as cellular components. Proteins exhibit secondary and tertiary structures based on their composition of amino acids. Some proteins may form polymers, some may exist as dimers, and some may exist as monomers. Their functionality is determined by their configuration. This dogma states that the property of the protein and its folding is determined by its amino acid sequence. However, under experimental conditions, proteins may fold based on the physiochemical characteristics as well as under the conditions under which they are expressed. Each protein has a unique sequence and that sequence determines the final structure of the protein. In nature, proteins constantly evolve based on the principles of adaptation and evolution. Biotechnologists design proteins using a rational approach. This approach involves designing protein sequences which can meet specific design criteria and functionality. In addition to random design, directed evolution is also one of the ap approaches which is taken when designing proteins. Protein structure can be predicted in silico using the kite do little plot and the hop woods plot. The kite do little prediction scale relies on prediction of certain regions based on values. So values above zero are considered hydrophobic in character and values greater than zero are considered hydrophilic in nature when we utilize the hops wood scale. This is the prediction of a protein structure in silico. This is another prediction for a growth hormone. As you can see, when we predict a irovirus coat protein, which is basically an antigenic principle, there is a variation in the hydrophobic and hydrophilic domains. These are indications of potential antigenic sites which can be used for vaccine design. The kites 
do a little scale and I hope it's scale predict the hydrophobicity and hydrophilicity of a protein respectively. In addition to the hydrophobicity and hydrophilicity, another important aspect of protein prediction is the signal peptide. Signal peptides are located at the carboxy end of the protein and these determine the domain to which the protein will be targeted. One of the most widely studied proteins is the green fluorescent proteins. It has applications to biotechnology. It consists of a beta barrel which envelops a fluorophore. This unique structure ensures that the fluorophore is not exposed to water molecules. And this will ensure that the fluorophore will be functional in aqueous solutions. The green fluorescent protein has been utilized in molecular diagnostics and has applications in biotechnology. This can be expressed in recombinant form in bacteria such as Escherichia coli. Proteins can also be eukaryotes such as Saccharomyces cerevisiae, the baker's yeast, Proteins which are expressed in eukaryotes can undergo post-translational modifications whereas those expressed in bacteria do not undergo post-translational modification. Thank you for viewing this module on proteins. Please complete your evaluation at the end of this module.